And just like that, Tails has new animation. He can use his Tails to run, because... Tails. Miles Tails per hour. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Before the Sequel. So, in the last episode, we played Sonic as he was climbing up the... What was it? The Death Egg, I want to call it? I'm sure that's wrong, but I want to call it the Death Egg. So, this area, we play as Tails, and everything is weird and amazing. It's like unicorns could come out of nowhere and start wrecking me, but they don't. Instead, it's the lizards with guns hiding in clouds. Also, I will get wrecked by them a lot, because for some reason I can never tell when they're in there, even though I'm sure it's obvious. So these stages, I didn't have a lot of issue with. I kind of had some issue with uh, part of it. And I think it's actually this first stage I had issues with, if I'm remembering right, but it might have been the second. Well, not stage, but act, I should say. Oh, well, whatever. There we go. These, the music in this area, the aesthetic, yeah, this is the area. I had some issue with this area for some reason. Mainly because of that kind of thing. And I know I'm just being a patient. What I need to do is I need to stand on this, and it is a plunger that is flying through the sky, and I just fell off of. And I got a game over. Well... Ah, uh, that's amazing. I'm amazing. I'm amazing, guys. You don't even know. Uh, minor thing. I just knocked these off. I didn't even know you could do that. I completely knocked them off their perch up there, and... Well, they are now down there. Broken. Defeated. And I know there's another word in there, but I'm forgetting what the song reference is. The broken, the beaten, and the damned, I think is the... I don't know. Alright guys, I'm back, and, uh... You know, I, this isn't a bad point to cut back in, probably. Uh... I now have double shield. Alright. Sure enough, that's the... Oh, no. That's the midpoint, but... Just because the midpoint's right there doesn't mean I can get copy. I'm doing well thus far. Don't need to break all my concentration now. So, the huge thing about this Tails level is if you're patient, you will do amazing. I'm trying to go as fast as possible, so I'm not doing amazing. If you just ride these and everything, everything will be great and amazing. I'm just so impatient, though. It's just, I want everything to be super fast, and it wants you to take your time. And I don't like that, apparently. I don't know. Aha, got another one up. Ooh, I almost lost my shield. I'd like to keep my shield if I can. Until I lose it in a few seconds when I just said I wanted to keep it. What am I? Oh. Oh, it's a thing. I was like, what am I standing on? Hmm. Also, the bat guys with the spikes on their head, don't jump on them. You will kill them, but they will also hurt you. And another one up, which is what I've been going for. Just like that. See? I figured it was a good time to show in another one up. Wow, this is the level of 1-ups for me now that I've already got a game over on it. Because, you know, I left myself no wiggle room with the last mission and all. Alright. Hop up here. I think we're actually at the end of the stage, if I'm remembering right. 
or I could completely be wrong. Oh, no, yeah, I am right. Okay. Sweet. 121 rings. That is not bad. I mean, we don't have a shield, but eh, whatever. Sadly, the ring counter is broken anyway, so you're going to be getting all this points that you wouldn't actually need to get. I don't know what I'm saying. You didn't earn, that's what I'm trying to say. Music's more action-packed, the, you know, clouds are actually raining now, which is, uh, it's a dark day. So I don't remember this mission at all. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. If it's a good thing, then that means, oh, wait, yes, I remember part of it. If it was a good thing, then that would mean that it's just a really easy mission. If it's a bad thing, that means I might have put it out of my memory. So the way this mission works is that you will be using these fans to blow away the clouds blocking your path. I should have killed that, even though it hit me, but eh, whatever. And by doing that, you open up everything up. The issue is that there are a lot of clouds now that actually you can only hop on twice until they disappear, kind of like those blocks in Mario. And you also can't fly when you uh, bounce off them because it's considered the same thing as if you bounced off something else. So it'd be too easy. Also, I'm getting really lucky in when I'm jumping because I'm not meaning to attack these people. Um, I'm gonna head up. I just wanted to grab those rings because I thought it might have been something special. Um... Come on. Ah. Criminy. Getting to the bad weather areas again. While I'm here... What's down here? Oh, yeah, I remember this. Shield. Rings. Uh... Don't know what happened with that. Whatever. Get all the goods and then head down here, because the level actually wants you to go down, despite the fact that you could pro possibly, possibly have gone up there. Bounce off all these enemies, which is probably what they're meaning you to do th throughout this level, but I'm not doing it much. Also... I just had a loose hair, like, tickling my nose, like, in a cartoon or something. Ah. That really makes me want to sneeze. I really don't like sneezing on recordings, so I'm not gonna do that. Oh. Crap. Dark area again, so we're falling through clouds, and everything is not good. Everything is actually quite bad. it from the bottom and that way we can hop over okay. I'm gonna be honest I don't care for this I do care for this because that's cool there we go but I do not care for all the enemies around here I'm sorry about the huge delays also also I don't understand I guess it's, it's supposed to be slowing me down, but the problem is that inertia is kind of an odd thing. All of these lives in this area. I guess they know you're going to need it, and luckily I just keep getting lucky and jumping into any enemies that would otherwise destroy my shields or my rings or anything. This is going a lot better than the previous recording, I'm not going to lie. I know I shouldn't be talking about it. People are always like, oh, it's unprofessional. And I'm like, I'm the most unprofessional! You have no idea! And yes, that was the special stage thing. I believe there are actually only two acts in this area, which is kind of an odd thing. I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I'm probably... No, I think... I don't remember. I think there was something odd about this? I remember something weird. I just can't seem to remember what it is. Oh, well. As usual, catchy music. Some of the stuff they introduced in the previous stage, including the clouds. Luckily, I can just fly up if I do somehow miss it. Yeah. 
And you get plenty of rings no matter what. Unless you're like me and get straight to the top right there. So it is, I think, possible in this one to actually get two lives. I'm just not going to. Because things like that. So I got 122, which is pretty average for me at this point. Special stage completed. Now let's see, was there a third act to this one or am I just going crazy? Nope, no third act. This is the boss battle. Sonic's climbing the final area of the Death Egg. Tails is going, whoa. And being all brave and whatnot. No, actually, yeah, there was a third act. I guess that was just a story fight. Oh, yeah, there's a third act. So, this is showing how this works. If you stand on those things for too long, it will blow fire out. If you put a box on it, it will instantly shoot fire. And will keep on fire because there's a box sitting on it eternally and it weighs much pet more than tails. Those red ones are the ones that catch on fire and they are terrible, terrible machines. This is the one I had the most issue out of the three of them and I guess the second one I just didn't have that big of an issue with and that's why I kind of forgot it. The third one's the one that I had a major issue with and that's why I kind of put it out of my memory. The first one I had to have a spot or two that I had a bad run with, but this one I think is what I was thinking of. Let it pass by. Okay, that should have not been there anymore. I guess it stopped the moment I got off screen. Also, I there are random areas in this place where I'll actually start like running on the ceiling. It's not fun. There were some glitches that they didn't iron out. I did not know about this, well, lucky me. He's dead. Yeah, this is the areas I was thinking of the last time I was riding a plunger that was going to the right. I could have sworn there was more difficulty, but I was like, ah, I must have just been bad at the game at that point. Okay, that hitbox was weird. But, uh, yeah. This area is where it gets serious. Alright. Here we go. Ah. Uh, yeah, this jump's annoying. Come on. So, for some reason, the first time I played this level... I kept hopping off that spring over and over having the same issue where I would just start and I would hit the ceiling and then completely fall straight down. Uh, well, I'm not talking about that. I did not just get burned by something that was easily avoidable if I had better reaction time. Oh well. Rolling around at the speed of tails. Oh. Really? Okay, try this again. Nope, 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 nope. We're not doing this. Mm. Come on. This place is total crap! This is the worst! Yep, the worst! Mm. Bear back. Actually, I want to see. Can I go to the right? What's different about this way? You have to deal with a lot more of these red things, but you don't have to deal with the plunger segment. I think, yeah, we're actually fully back. I haven't shown off this place, and I don't actually think I want this way before. And I'm already here. That was a major shortcut. Why wouldn't I take that path? Alright, now I'm to the annoying thing that I failed at miserably during the thing. 
Um, I didn't skip the. Okay, yeah, I think I did skip both plunger segments, which is incredibly nice. I'll have to be ready to jump over this thing. No, I, I was trying to fly, but. <sighs> Can't not do that again. Down here, then up the hill. Over here. Alright, guys, we're back, I guess. Hopefully I don't fall off again. Of course, there's this plunger segment, which I hate. With the burning passion of a million foreman grills. It's not that bad if you're patient. I just don't like being patient in videos. I don't mind being patient in actual, like sit down play through in my own free time but it, I feel like I'm wasting so white what that's odd oh well I feel like I'm wasting time when I'm doing this there we go I made it I feel like a bad thing's gonna happen if I keep flying up. Ah. Come on. These birds are the worst! You know the bird, 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 because they are the worst. And we're finally done. That took three minutes of a run, but honestly took way longer than that in actual practice. <sighs> the music's really picking up now. Well, I have no floor to stand on. That's right, guys. We are in the sky. You hop off your ship, it catches you, rinse, repeat, don't get hit by missiles. That's what this boss battle is. And... Well, the music disappeared for a minute. I almost died. <sighs> Always be sure to have extra rings. If you can, what you want to do is you want to time your jump down for when the missile's popping out. Because what you can actually do is... Ah, crap. The afterburner hurts to you, by the way. You can actually bounce off the missile, hurt it, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I guess you can hurt it, then bounce off the missile, is what I'm trying to say. And they're not super lock-on missiles, so you don't have to worry about it uh, all the way up at the top or anything. But just be careful, because he's firing in three different spots down here, and he also has the little spike ball things out. This fight isn't easy, but it isn't hard. It's, I guess, kind of timing and taking your time. If you have if you have good patience, just like in the actual mission, you'll do fine. But it's just kind of slow. It's, it's really creative, and I like how they made it different. They didn't just keep it the same kind of formula over and over again. Well, you keep having to, I guess, hit it in the same kind of way, which is the same formula. But I don't know. I feel like it's different, even if it's only in my own mind. And just like that, boss done. That's literally it, guys. So guys, I'll see you guys next time in the finale. Bye.